hello everyone in today's video we are going to learn about the origin software so when you open the origin software you will see a dashboard like this first of all we will learn with the origin that how we can import data from excel so we can just um, simply copy these two uh, data and we can copy them and then we can come here and we can simply uh, paste here as well so it will paste all of the data so there is another way in which you can uh, import all of the excel file here import excel button and then we click on this one and this will then uh, ask the file location where your file is uh, saved so i will just open this file I click on here and then click on open it will give us another uh, dashboard in which uh, different things about uh, excel is being asked for example if you want to uh, uh, import a particular uh, excel sheet so you, you can select from here but now we have only one sheet so it shows sheet number one but then it says like if the cobbles co columns are labeled or not because in that excel file we have uh, our column label our labels for with the with the name of stress and strain so i have just click on this one and then in uh, if the long name is uh, only one one for example the first one it will read as the uh, long name and then the unit uh, if there is a unit then uh, it will be in the row of the excel file so if the unit is there then you can click on uh, on the rows in which the unit are there but if there is no unit then you can click on this uh, arrow down there and you can click on this none button but since we have the unit so i will click on this uh, number two row uh, if you have any comments then you can also uh, bring them here but since we do not have any comments so it, it is kept as none and if you want to import the partial uh, data then you can click on this button and it will ask which column you want to import and which rows you want to import since we want to import all of the data so i will just uncheck this one and then i will click on ok button it will open this all of the data so to explain what this uh, sheet actually do so the first column of the sheet was always x-axis and the second column of the sheet was always y-axis if you can see from here it says x and if you can see from here it says y so it will treat strain as the y column and stress as the x column so this is uh, the long name is the is the name of the axis which you want to display and this unit is the unit uh, if you want to display and uh, I will explain later what this is comment and f into x means and this spark line uh, is shows that how your data uh, looks like if you just plot this data Okay, so now let us see how we can plot graph by using origin. So in order to plot the graph, you can select uh, the columns and then you can go to this very uh, tab of the origin and there you will find an option which says plot so you when you click on this plot it will show all of the graphs that you can uh, plot by using origin for example there's a column uh, uh, chart or there is a uh, stack column chart and similarly there is a double wall column chart or double y axis and if, if you want to uh, plot on different panels as well or there are some statistical graphs as well but we will see this in other videos and here we will uh, go with the simple plot so in simple plot we can uh, go with this uh, line uh, plot so when we click on this line plot you will see the, uh, the graph uh, is plotted and it's shows in a different window so write any uh, comment on the y-axis it will be shown here in this uh, box for example if I write tutorial then it will show here so this is the uh, function of the comment if you want to display anything then you can click on here and let here and let us see that how we can improve the quality of this graph so uh, you go to this uh, any of these axis as either y-axis or, or x-axis and then you double click on this one so another dashboard will appear in this dashboard there are different options that are uh, available which uh, um, can be used for different purposes for example you, you will see here is the scale option in which you want to change the scale of the horizontal or the vertical axis for example this scale uh, starts from minus 22 and it goes up to minus uh, up to 225 so for example if I want to display it from 0 enter 0 and then I, I will click on this apply button and here the graph will display like this and Similarly, you can go and change the value for the uh, for the most extreme value as well. Similarly, if you want to change the uh, x-axis as a scale, then you can click on this down arrow and then different options are available, which you can choose. And then you will see these major text and these minor text. So these major text are the text that are uh, displayed on the on the values, for example, 50, 100, 150, and 200. So how do you want to uh, display this one? For example, by counts, minimum, and maximum, or any other any uh, other different options. For example, if I click on by count, and then it will show six uh, as an interval of the count. And for example, if I uh, click on an um, apply button, so it will show one, two, three, four, five, and this six. Uh, total six counts so it will show six counts and each of these counts it will also display the values but at the moment we will just uh, click on this increment with a value of 45 and i will click on this apply similarly you can change the increment let's say i change an increment by uh, let's say 25 and i will just click on the apply button so it will show more uh, uh, values here in the y-axis but um, at the moment i will stick with this 45 and then uh, with, uh, you can do the similar thing with the vertical axis all you need to do is to click on this button and then the vertical axis will be selected and then you can also uh, choose it from here for example if you, i want to display the value from zero i will press zero and uh, i will press ok and then my graph will be changed accordingly Similarly, if uh, you go to the tick uh, label button, uh, here different options are available. For example, what type of the display you want to uh, display here. For example, a medical value or you want to uh, display any kind of text or date or month or whatever. Uh, different options are also available here. Similarly, if you go to the format button, then uh, you will see uh, other options. For example, what color of the of the axis you want to display here. If you want to display, let's say, any other color. For example, at the moment, I will just uh, give you an, uh, an option of red. And if I click on apply button, so it will change the color of the, uh, of the, of the text to the red. But uh, let's stick with the black color only. Then you can also change the uh, font of the 
the of, of the text as well and similarly the size as well for example i will go with the size of uh, let's say 2022 20, 20, and if you, i want to make it bold and then I, I, I need to take on this one and similarly you can go with different options for example what is the direction if i want it a vertical or if i want it a horizontal and if i want a vertical let's say for the moment i will select a vertical one and then i will click on the supply button so when you do this you will see there are different changes that happen to the graph but uh, let's stick with this one with the vertical with the horizontal only and, uh, you can go with the title so if you want to go with the title whether you want to show the title or you don't want to show the title and what is the text similarly uh, if you want to change this text then you can also change it from here and what is the color you want from this one and and if you want to rotate it and what where you want to display this title for example in the middle or beginning of the axis or you want to uh, do it at the end of the axis for example if i uh, select this uh, begin from the axis uh, begin value so it will display it here but in more but it's better to uh, keep it in the middle one want to, similarly you can change the font style and the font size for example if i change it to the uh, let's say this uh, uh, very style and if i uh, I'll change the value to the uh, display the size to the 24 then i need to select this one and then click on the apply button so it will change the values accordingly but it's better that uh, we can change the uh, time new romans let's say and then you can click on this apply button so it will display like this so the same thing you have done in the bottom axis you can do the same one with the y-axis you click on here and everything is seen and then you can change it from here let's say um, the time new romans and then you can change the size to the uh, 24 as well and then you can click on apply so it will display like this so in this way uh, you can change uh, these things so similarly if you want to display the line on the top and on the right then you can go this line and text option and then uh, you can select the stop button so, so if you want to display uh, the line then you can uh, uh, take this button and then it will ask a different option for example uh, if by default if you apply these uh, values then it will uh, look like uh, uh, like this but if you don't want to show these uh, minor and majors then you can go come here and then you can click on the none button so these are the major ones like the bigger one and then you can go for the, for the minor you can go do the same and then click on the none button so by doing so then uh, if you apply then it will uh, do a box like this in which the major and minors are not available and only the liner shown similarly you can do the same thing with the right one so all you need to do is you click on this right one and then uh, take this show line and text button and then you can go uh, with this major as none and this uh, minor as uh, uh, none as well so by applying this one and your uh, graph will display and uh, it will make like a box so there are other things which uh, we will come later and at the moment we will just press ok and move this one inside the box let's say at the moment and so now let us see what we can do with the line uh, take your cursor to the line and then double click on this line it will appear in another uh, dashboard then it will ask you what is, uh, how you want to display the line like there is no line or there is two point segment or the three point segment so there are different options uh, in which the line are connected so you can try uh, th these options later what one the style one so if you want to display your graph like as a dash uh, or as a dot or, or there are other options as well so um, at the moment we can uh, click with the dash option and then we can uh, click the private so now your dash uh, appears like this similarly uh, if you want to display like a compound for example double line or thick and thin line or uh, triple line there's another option similarly with the width one so it's better to uh, give it the width of two let's say at the moment so that it looks good and then we can also change the color for example here we can go and we can change different color for example at the moment i will select the blue one and uh, and then click on this apply button so then line will turn into the into the blue color similarly uh, if you want to uh, make your uh, line transparent then you can also select this one and if you want to uh, fill the area under the curve for, uh, then you can also uh, click on this enable button and then it will ask you uh, different options uh, how to uh, fill the fill the data and uh, like whether to fill the data down or whether to fill the data above but uh, at the moment we are not interested in this one this way your uh, chart is uh, somehow uh, looks good and so there's another way in which you can bold uh, these options if you click on this button and then you can uh, see from here there's a the different options if you want to bold if you want to uh, make an italian or the underline we can select this one as a bold and then we can uh, select from here like uh, what is the option for example 22 as, as the size and then we can uh, really select the time new romans from here as well another option to do the things is you can go from here and then you make a single click and then you give uh, and then you wait for a second and it will give you these options so you can go from here and then you click on this version where it says bold so we click on this one and it will uh, increase the size and then similarly we can increase the size from here for example 25 or 26 let's say make it 28 and similarly you can go from here make it bold and then you can increase the size to let's say uh, 28 so in this way uh, your uh, graph is now completed and now let us see that how we can save this graph In order to save the graph, you need to go to this file button and then you need to go to this option which says export graph. So here are two options available. Number one is last use in which uh, it will use the default values which you have used for the last time. And then there is another option which says open dialog. I'll go with the open dialog button. So there are different options with us. For example, what is the image type you want to save? For example, if you want to save it as JPEG or TIFF file or PDF file, then you can select it from here. At the moment, I will go with the PNG file and then you can give the name as well. For example, here I give the name of tutorial and then you can choose the file path where you want to save your graph. Then you click on these three buttons uh, and then it will ask you for the specific folder where you can save your file. And then this DPI is very important because for some journals, you, know, if you need to uh, save the graph with high quality, for example, up to 600 or 900 or 1200, then you can select uh, as per the requirements. But at the moment, I will go with the 300 one and then this auto is something that is it will select the width and the height okay button and your glove will be saved in the so 
now let us assume that we uh, want to add another column. So how you can uh, create another column is by going to the, this very top row uh, and uh, you have an option which says add new column. When you click on this one, it will add another column and you can add as many as you want. But uh, and then you can simply delete it by selecting them and right clicking on them. And then there is an option uh, which is delete. So it will delete the column. Now let's assume you have another set of data and you want to display. So you can just uh, uh, paste the values and then you can uh, simply uh, select these one and also paste them here. So for example, if you want to display these, uh, these uh, uh, values uh, in a separate graph, but you want to keep the same format. So you don't need to do it from the scratch or with just few clicks. For example, you will select only the Y axis and then you go with the plot values and then it will give you the recently used uh, graphs. So as we have used the line one, so it is given and we will just select it. So now another graph is now plotted, but uh, with different format options as the default values. But if you want to uh, have the same uh, format style that were in the first graph, so you can just select the first graph, right click on this one and then go to the copy format. It will give you different options. For example, if you uh, copy the uh, background from first uh, graph to the last one or the dimension of the scale or the color. But at the moment, we want to have everything. So I will just select the all values and then go to the second graph, right click on this again. And then there is an option which says paste format. So we'll just select on this one. And now all of the format options that were available uh, for the first graph are transported to the second graph. But let's assume that you want to uh, display uh, these values on the first graph. You will select this column which you want to display. Then you will just select the values from the uh, corner of the column and then you will drag it and drop it into the first uh, graph. That you want to have the same style for the second line uh, uh, that was in the first line. Select the graph, go to the option which says graph, and then again go to the option uh, which says plot setup. So by doing so, uh, another dashboard will appear. You will select both of them and then you will right click on them, make an, uh, select an option of group, and then click on the OK button. By doing so, it will give you uh, the same format style and in different uh, colors. You want to change uh, this legend. Uh, based on the log name, what you can do, you can select the uh, graph again, go to the graph option, and then go to the legend option. And then you can go to the uh, uh, option which says update, update legend. So when you click on the options of update legend, another dashboard will appear. And then uh, now you can uh, just uh, uh, select this option which says auto legend transition mode. You can select this one, and then you can go with the custom uh, option. And here it will give you different options. But at, uh, um, uh, for example, if you want to change it on the basis of log name or on the basis of comment or on the basis of the name of the worksheet. So at the moment, we will uh, we are interested in the log name. So we will just select this one and then click on the apply button. Button. So it will give you give the name of the uh, of the legends based on, on their names, and then you can uh, click on OK. So let's say now if I change it uh, to strain two, and then click on uh, OK, so it will update the legend by itself, and here your graph will be uh, is going to be ready. How we can save this whole project? So when we read it for uh, letter juice, then how we can open this one? So you need to go this file button, and then you will uh, go this save project as. So when you click on this save project as, it will ask you the location where you want to save your file. I can give the name of my file as well. For example, tutorial, and then I will click on this save button. In this way, your origin project will be saved. So if you click on this minimize button, your graph will become here, and if you click on this book button, then it will come here. So for example, if you want to open them, you can either uh, click on here, and if you want to uh, explore the project, you can click on this project explorer, and then you can want to rename this book you will click on this button and then right click on this one and then you can go this rename option so here you can just put let's say stress strain and similarly for the graph you can also click this one right click on this one and then you can put like graph and then stress strain and here your file will be uh, saved like this and then you can really open your files based on uh, by clicking on these buttons and so we hope that this video helped you in learning origin. Uh, don't forget to share this video, hit the like button and subscribe our channel.